approach into the last corner of the Hungara ring. In a qualifying lap, make sure you take a nice wide approach onto the start finish straight. This is the longest straight on the circuit, a good chance to use DRS and the curves available. It's an overtaking opportunity as well. Down into turn one, you've got the brake marker boards on the left hand side, brake just after the 100 meter board into second gear. The track then opens up away from you, letting you get on the power nice and early as the track now plummets down the hill towards turn two. Easy to lock up here though, down into second gear because of the nature of the track, you wanna keep it to the left hand side before this right corner at turn three that follows. You wanna keep it full throttle there because the track now goes up the hill to this blind summit of turn four an awesome corner taken in fourth gear watch out for the exit curbs before turn five slow it all down now and use a lot of the exit curbs again before the run up to the very tricky right left chicane of turn six and seven don't use too much of the curbs there at slow speed it will upset the balance of the car turn eight now keep it tighter here you want to open up the corner of turn nine and keep the speed before going around the left hand kink of turn 10. Now you want to carry as much speed, minimum speed, through this corner of turn 11. Hang on in there, feel that g-force on your body. Now it goes downhill, 100 meter board again into second gear. Watch out for that exit curb though, don't take too much of that because you've got to get back to the right hand side before trail braking nice and deep into the penultimate corner of turn 13. Open it up on the exit, use all of the pit lane entry as well if you can, and then into the last corner itself. Hug the inside, be patient, and then on the throttle as early as you dare, using all of the exit curb, and that's a lap of the Hungaroring.